Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Tech Savvy Engineer. This is OnePlus 8 Pro. Clicking onto the settings menu. Now scrolling down the menu. Now clicking on About Device option. Now clicking on the Software Update option. Now this is the Software Update file with some Software Update details. Now it is showing that the battery is too low or the battery saving mode is on. Now going back to the main menu in order to switch off the battery saving mode. Now scrolling down the drop down menu. Now switching off the battery saving mode. Now going to the settings menu again and scrolling down the menu again. Now clicking on to the about device option. Now clicking on to the software update option. Now initializing system update is begun automatically. Now the system update is downloading the file. Now it is showing in red that the installation will continue when device isn't being used. Tapping on resume button. This will continue the installation process. You can see that there is a pause button in the left hand side of corner. So this button is used to stop at any time if you want to abort the process or you can resume the process at your specified time you can see that the blue line is turning white which shows the percentage of downloading and installation process now talking about the system update available page which shows the new version number as in2021 underscore 11 dot c dot 21 so it shows the news update is available and the update optimizes the system stability improves camera user experience and fixes some known issues. Under the system, it is written that it has improved system stability and fixed the issue that screen kept on abnormally in certain scenarios after locking. It has fixed the issue that some gestures operation worked abnormally after enabling the quick launch. Under camera, it has fixed the issue of crash when opening ultra steady in certain scenario. The file size of this update is 1.27 GB. So considering the file size, it looks like a major update. So you are advised to make a data backup, though your data will not go anywhere. But it is always recommended to have a data backup. You can make your data backup on USB flash drive, SSD drives, or a cloud space, or another smartphone. Now. The installation process is about to complete. The ideal time to complete the whole downloading and installation process is 20 to 25 minutes. But if you have a good Wi-Fi speed, then it will complete more earlier. Now that the installation process is completed, now tapping on the smartphone so that the screen do not go on the sleep mode. The applications installed on your smartphone will get optimized. So now the screen changes to the optimization your device and this may take a while is written on under the blue line. The percentage of optimization can be considered by the blue line turning into white. So after optimization process is completed, it will ask for a reboot. Now the screen changes and it is asking for a reboot at 2 am and also asking at a reboot now option. I am going to click on the reboot now option. Now this will reboot the smartphone now. This is the OnePlus icon. Now you can see the OnePlus icon which is along with the powered by Android icon. Now this will go for some while. After some time it will changes to the OnePlus icon which is going on red. This is first time I am seeing OnePlus icon going red. Now it will play for some time and after that it is asking for password. Now after entering the password the smartphone is on. Now I can go into the settings menu. Now scrolling down to the about device option. Now clicking on it. You can see there is a system update message which is saying that the congratulation your device has been successfully updated. After clicking on ok going back to the main menu. Thank you for watching the video, checking the notification icon, that's it.